I almost made a really another dark joke. Am I okay? Is this a cry for help? Anyway. There's a reason why people tend to use letters when they make historical records of people. I often think like it's gonna be so sad when historians make um, biographies about people from this generation because it's all like tweets. You're gonna be like, <laughs> on this day she tweeted she ate pancakes. So, and it's like, that's tragic. Because we don't write letters anymore, I feel like so much of our communication is like going to be inaccessible to people unless you get somebody's email password or whatever because like the texts and phone calls kind of like disappear into the cloud of like memory not the cloud as in the electronic cloud the thing about a letter is it kept it's something that captures more than just a text would or an email would or a phone call would. I guess an email also functions the same way. I'm going to talk about how I write letters to my friends. Uh, sometimes I use letters instead of gifts or when I go to somebody's house and I want to thank them for having had me. I do write notes that are far too sentimental. They might make people uncomfortable. I don't know. I've never heard anyone say that but I guess they wouldn't. So yeah. So how I would write a letter is I would use three principles which are time, essence, and love. I know that's like weird but that's kind of what I use, um, I, like how I would teach someone I guess how to write the letters that I write. Um, it's going to be weird because I don't think I'll be able to show you a letter that I write because it's like private by essence but hopefully you can just kind of go along with me and think about your own letter that you would like to write to someone. So first when I talk about time what I mean is like how do you capture where you are in the world right now. There's a lot of different techniques that people use. Some people use the technique of writing like the date, um, not just the date but also like the headline in the newspaper that day. So whatever newspaper you subscribe to or like whatever big national paper you have that tells about um, your country's news that day you can write today's headline said blah 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 and you can talk about what you think about that if it's something that's relevant. Or if you're like, isn't that crazy? Everybody's dead or whatever. Then <laughs> that might be a way also to like capture that moment in time. Another thing that I prefer or like that I really like to do is to talk about where you are as you are writing the letter. So some people will be like, oh, I, as I write this letter, I'm sitting at, I don't know, like at a library that has just shut down and they're kicking me out. I don't know. <laughs> All my examples are very dark. Anyway. Um, or you could be like, oh, I'm sitting in this corner of my living room where you and I used to hang out and we used to like do whatever. So that's another way that you can like capture or if you're in a new place and you want to describe it to this person, you could be like, oh, today I'm writing from my new office in this new town or city or whatever and this is the view that I have or whatever it is. But ultimately like the point there is to also like capture you in that moment of time and where you are. So that's a cool way to open a letter. Another thing you can do is talk about something that reminds you of that person. So maybe you were like walking today and be like, oh, I saw this kind of car and it reminded me of your car or it reminded me of this joke we used to make about whatever. <laughs> So that's another thing you can do talking about reminders of this person in your day-to-day -day life and it kind of also situates them where you are and is also this way of saying like even though we're apart there are like physical things in my world that make me think of you. Like oh today's news is, let me actually check what today's news is, it ain't gonna be good I'm gonna tell you that much. Scrap. Um, Biden upends Trump's calculation of who gets federal vaccination help. So I might not use that headline because one, it is clunky as hell, and two, my friend and I don't necessarily talk about American politics very much, so it would be really random. Yeah, another thing would be, and then two, essence. So when I talk about essence, that's more like because a letter not only is like a message from you to them, it's a message to your Ancestors to your like progeny to your successors to like the people that will live on after you to posterity right to posterity Is English a language or am I dying here <laughs> in any case a letter is not just um, a Message from you to another person. It's a message to you and the people who will come after you and Whether it's your children or grandchildren or whoever moves into your flat after you die <laughs> What is happening? Am I okay? <laughs> anyway, 
it's also a message to the person who receives it, right? Um, and um, all the people who will come after them because they will look at it and they'll be like, oh, this is, if we talked about time, this is this moment in time. So the essence then becomes how you summarize your friendship and relationship with this person um, and what this person means to you in this particular moment in time. So that like whoever finds it one day is like, oh, these people are friends because blah, blah, blah. So I know it's like a little weird to write to your own friend, stuff like that. But like, again, I said, it's, it's, it's a artifact. It's like, it's a treasure. It is not just a message of like, hey, what's up? What's popping? Anyway, peace out. Like, that's not what this is. This is a moment, um, by moment capturing of a historical event, which is your friendship, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would write for essence. I would talk about, um, again, like memory is really, really, really like memory is really, really good for capturing emotional, like, um, depth of a relationship. So I would say like, Oh, I'm remembering the time you like saved me from, I don't know, like a crazy clown or something. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be like a really big thing, but it would be nice to be like, Oh, like I'm thinking of you because I'm going through this experience and I'm remembering how you and I kind of coped through that together or how we used to laugh about that. So memory is a good way to capture the essence. And again, for future readers, it'll be like, oh, this person and the and this person mean this to each other because of this type of event that happened together. So if you met at school, you can talk about school. If you met at work, you can talk about something that happened at work. But the point is to have a memory that not only ties in your own love for this person and relationship with this person, but also the context within, within which it took place and within which you two found love in a hopeless place. <laughs> Yeah, so essence is just anything that kind of captures like the, the point of your friendship or like the meaning of it in your life. You might even want to point to that and be like, I miss you because without you in this new life I live, there's no X, Y, Z. There's no maybe laughter. Okay, that's like really sad. Am I sad? <laughs> or there's no like jokes or like uh, music or whatever it is. Like obviously you don't have to overstate it, but there's no specific thing that friend does anymore and I miss that and I miss us being together. And then that's where love comes in. So love is like asking after someone, asking after their family, asking after like how are you, like how is this thing that we last talked about treating you now and how are you learning to cope through this thing and you have to be really specific because again this is someone that you care about and you want them to know you care about them so this isn't even just about the future anymore but about your own um, letter to this person and then you can also ask about any historical events that are happening in their city and you can be like oh I read that today the Godzilla took over your city are you okay and that too like situates your love and relationship in a moment in time so another thing for love you would do is like again more like artifacts is I would like attach some outside thing. So something I didn't write. So I'll look for a poem or I'll look for a line in a paper or in an essay or in a novel, or I'll look for a picture from a magazine even, or a picture of me and them, or like a cartoon from like a political magazine or whatever that makes me think of them. The same way you would share something like over text or over the internet or over Facebook. I will do that with like a physical object in the room. And that too is like a way to capture your love and feelings and um, respect for this person and your friendship and the people who will read it after you both die in a fire re-embrace. <laughs> hey, like. um, so yeah, I feel like that's everything I have and my batteries die. Um, another thing quickly is this is also a book that can help you like understand like the importance of letters it's called um, letters of notes and it's an eclectic collection of correspondence deserving of a wider audience compiled by Sean Usher and it's kind of like a big book as you can see like physically big and also had like a profound I think effect and was very popular for a little while but basically it has like letters that are written um, from people by random people and this person like looked through these archives and was like oh this letter is hilarious or this letter is like really interesting and would make um people learn more about this person um, so 
oh yeah there's a lot of like really sad ones i was gonna look for one to read out loud but um they're very touching and i'll see if i can find one and i might post like a picture of it or something but yeah it's like full of like really interesting letters from people that are like um and the drawings that people make to one another that's another thing i do in my letter i draw a lot of like drawing stick figures of my friends and me and so this is like more pictures of letters that are in this book and i'll try and find one and tell you about it but yeah it all kind of matters in the end so thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a good day and i will see you tomorrow or some other day and let me know if you write a letter to someone who you write it to and what you hope to talk about um i'd be super excited to hear what everyone um is thinking about when they think about sentiment and capturing love and affection um, so yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.